Hi, I'm Simon Dool. As a former New Zealand cricketer and now commentator, I've been lucky enough to travel the globe and stay in some of the world's most iconic cities. I know exactly what it takes to make a great one, and I can tell you, Auckland is right up there with the best of them. And if you're coming to Auckland for the ICC Cricket World Cup 2015, make sure you make the most of your time here. There's so much to do here. Whatever you're into, Auckland has got it going on. From stunning beaches to world-class restaurants, international art galleries, wineries, volcanoes, and even a subtropical rainforest. It's all here, it's all with an easy reach. Come on, let's go take a look. Auckland's unique location means it takes very little time to get out of the central city and experience nature at its finest. Auckland has some of the most incredible landscapes right on its doorstep and there's always a chance you might catch up with some of the local wildlife. Less than one hour drive from downtown takes you to the famous volcanic beaches of Auckland's west coast, where the wild surf crashes into the black sand and rugged cliffs. Take a walk along the coastline to find hidden bays and see the famous Gannett Colony. Enjoy a stroll in the nearby Waitakere Ranges and you'll discover a green paradise of native bush with waterfalls and some stunning views. Auckland's location in the Haraki Gulf gives the city a real maritime feel. Here at the viaduct in the city centre you can jump on board a ferry to untouched natural reserve islands around Auckland or you can explore the Haraki Gulf Marine Park. Over 30 of the world's marine mammals live in or visit the marine park and a trip out spotting whales and dolphins is an incredible experience. Whether it's island hopping, wildlife spotting or any other way of exploring the Haraki Gulf, it's a jewel in Auckland's crown and it's one you won't want to miss.